Off, uh, just talk about, you know, you, you've been a part of this uh, with Cornelius for as long as he's had it. You, you set time apart to want to help uh, not just former Bama players, but anytime you can help charity and stuff like that. Well, as, as being out of the, the Alabama football family, being a, a part of the University of Alabama also, that family, we, we try to support each other in every way and any way that we can. And if there's any kind of way that we could get anywhere in this world to support you know, our, our family members, our friends, our former teammates, or former players, we do that. And the idea that this, this cause is pertaining to Children's Village and, uh, and the great job that they do for, for kids who experience things in life that some of us may not have experienced or may not have gone through, that's a good cause to be able to come out here and battle this heat because I'm 43 <laughs> now. I don't like heat anymore. I don't like rain. I don't like cold weather. I dealt with all that in my younger days. I don't care for any of that. So for me to bear all of this to come out here, it's got to be very special. Yeah. And the event has to be very special. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Hey, uh, your coach at the University of Alabama was a defensive-minded coach. And now they've got a defensive-minded coach in Saban. But he coaches a position that you play. Would you have loved or would you have not liked your head coach to be your position coach when you were in college and stuff? And how hard is that, really? When I was drafted to the Browns in 94, he was a defensive coordinator then. I didn't like him as my coach as a defensive coordinator. He was defensive coordinator and the corners coach. I didn't like him then. No, I take the back. <laughs> no, I, I enjoyed playing for Nick in Cleveland. We had a good time. I always give him a hard time to say I didn't enjoy playing for him, but we did. We had a good time. And if my head coach was my position coach, at, for the most part, at Alabama, I would be like, Shouldn't it be other phases again? You should be watching instead of around here throwing the football to me all day. But it's it's good, and uh, he does a great job with those corners, and um, he has great insight for those who feel like they had opportunity to go to the next level. Was Saban? Did you see something in him even when he was? the coordinator and, and a position coach with the oh, Browns back then, uh, that he uh, would be successful? Of course, there, there's not many people that goes against Belichick's wishes, and it's a game we played one time, and, and Belichick wanted a certain call made, and Nick actually went against the call and made a call, which uh, was my, my rookie year, and we beat the Cowboys in Dallas, and Nick made the call, so I kind of looked at him, and I was like, okay. He might have a little something about him. You know, you go against Belichick, then many people go against Belichick's call. So it, it, was, it, was, it was something special. I said to myself then, I said, he has to be that guy one day. So he, he, he's done a great job. Good. When you look at the DBs that, that he's gotten down there, you yeah. know, right now he's got Mika and Eddie. Do you see yourself in any of those guys, that, that any, any of your characteristics when you were playing? Oh, uh, characteristics. Yes, yes, yes. Because – Actually, everything that, that's being taught at the university right now, especially taught to our corners for the most part, Nick was coaching that. He was teaching that at, at uh, the Browns my rookie year. It hasn't much changed with what he's doing with our corners. And then when I go to practice, I get a chance to go to a practice, and I'm looking around, and he laughs. And he was like, Antonio can tell y'all how to do all of this. And we just stepped back, and we laughed. So and it hasn't much changed. I went to a practice one day, and I was like, Man, you still doing that? And he was like, people and places change. The stuff I teach remains the same. <laughs> so we kind of laughed about it, but it was a lot of fun, though. Cornelius said that uh, the secondary they got down there now could stack up against some NFL secondaries. Do, do you agree with that assessment? Well, he might be jumping out there a little bit, but I, I mean, I, I could say that we are talented enough um, to, to say that we got some kids that can play on the next level to say, they they could play they that secondary could play in the NFL right now. I I don't know because of the the, the, the pace of the game on that level is so much faster than college football. And I think that they they are talented, very talented kids. But I think they would need a little bit more time before we could just say we'll throw them in an NFL secondary and let them go. <laughs> How do you feel about colleges um, accepting kids that have kind of a checkered past and giving them a second chance? Well, let's just say this. Uh, I'm, I thought this is where we live in was kind of about that, giving kids second chances. We have to understand where a lot of these kids come from, and and, and and not just saying some of them come from bad backgrounds, which causes them to do some of the things, because some of them come from good areas, good foundations, and they, they tend to get into bad stuff. I think that we have to accept the fact that they're teenagers. They're, they're not adults yet, and, and adults still make mistakes and they want to be forgiven and given a second chance so before we quick to say send him home or kick him off the team let's just think about what he may be doing if we kick him off the team and send him home and maybe 
there's a possibility that he's made a mistake, but that mistake can be corrected and he can become on to be a productive student at the university or whatever university, be a productive kid on the football field, and then eventually be a productive kid in the community. So before we quick to criticize him and quick to say, let's get rid of him, let's, let's think about the situations and what could possibly become of them if we send them back to where they originally come from, you know. I don't know, how's your golf game looking? Oh, that is, uh, that's uh, about uh, another 10 years down the road. I might be on the senior PGA Tour by then. I'll be hitting from the uh, senior tees at that point. But uh, I've been taking some lessons. They work here and there. Still too competitive, so I hit a bad shot here and there, and that ruins my game because I get all frustrated and I'm not the same. But I'm working on it, though. I'm a work in progress. I don't know how coachable I am nowadays, but I'm a work in progress.